Hello friends, Father Charles from St. Michael's. Welcome to Ash Wednesday. Tonight, we begin our Lenten journey. We will have a time for music, a short message, followed by a time for prayer and reflection. This journey works best when we have friends with us. Take a second to invite someone to join us. Lord, who throughout these forty days for us did fast and pray, teach us with thee to mourn our sins and close by thee to stay. As thou with Satan didst contend and didst the victory won, O oh, give us strength in thee to fight in thee to conquer sin. As thou didst hunger, bear and thirst, so teach us grace. Us, Lord, to die to self and chiefly live by thy most holy word. And through these days of penitence and through thy passion tide, Yea, evermore in life and death, Jesus with us abide. with us that so this life of suffering overpassed and Easter of unending joy we may attain at last. Hello friend, Father Charles here. I want to welcome you into what I hope will be a holy, life-giving, life-changing season of Lent this year. Today is Ash Wednesday. It is the day the Church has traditionally set aside for prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. It's also the day, traditionally, where we would smudge a cross on your forehead made out of ashes to remember that you are going to die someday, to remember your mortality. But the Christian faith is meant to be about a lot more than just remembering your mortality so that you can become scared enough to behave in the sort of way someone wants you to behave. In fact, being a follower of Jesus isn't about being afraid at all. It's about putting away all of your fears and never having to be afraid again. Jesus comes to destroy death and sin so that you don't have to be afraid. But I want to talk to you a little bit about discipline today, because discipline is how you become a saint. Discipline is how you become a saint. So let's talk about that discipline. Having been disciplined a little, we read in the Book of Wisdom, we will know such a very great reward, for the Lord will judge us and find us worthy of himself. Indeed, this is a season of discipline that we are engaged in now during Lent. A season where we learn to take on prayer, fasting, and almsgiving as a discipline to help disciple ourselves. It's no coincidence that the words discipline and disciple share the very same root. To be disciplined is how you become a disciple, and becoming a disciple is how you become a saint. 
three things, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, that we're asking you to join us in doing this Lent. Prayer seems easy enough. There is no right words or wrong words to use when praying. In my tradition, we have some services called the Daily Office that we recommend that will help you to learn how to pray. Check out the video linked below for a primer on how to pray the Daily Office and a humorous little clip from Ricky Bobby about what kind of words are perfect for praying. Connect with me if you need help doing it, and I can help get you on the right foot. There's a link to our website in the description below. It is a great place to learn about how to pray, and we will walk with you every step of the way. The second piece is fasting. Fasting is simply denying yourself something that you would normally enjoy. You deny yourself now to discipline the body a little bit, or as St. Augustine would say, he that disciplines the body through fasting subjects the flesh to the power of the Holy Spirit. That discipline leads to discipleship, and that discipleship leads to your sainthood. Bonus points if you take the money you would have spent on whatever the thing that you're fasting from and use it to give to charity, almsgiving. A great way the church has encouraged people to fast throughout the ages during this holy season of Lent is to go meatless on Fridays. So to forego any sort of meat, be it beef or pork or chicken or fish, whatever it is, to forego that on Fridays in Lent. It is a way, in a small way, to join our suffering, our fasting, to the suffering of our Lord and Savior on Good Friday, the day he was sacrificed on the cross for all of us to destroy the powers of sin and death. Almsgiving. The third thing is just kind of a fancy way of saying giving money to support the least of these, the people that God knows needs the most help, those who are less fortunate or in some sort of extreme trouble. Jesus warns us in Matthew chapter 25 that what we do for all these people who need help, we do for him. And on the great and glorious terrible last day when he comes again, he will say to those who have indeed helped those who needed their help, Well done, my good and faithful servants. Enter into joy in paradise with me. But if you're undisciplined or unwilling to help those who need help, he will say, Depart from me, you evildoers, for I have no part in you. You never knew me. Almsgiving is taking money, perhaps the money you would have spent on whatever it is you're fasting from, and giving to support the work of Jesus Christ in the world to help and love those less fortunate than us. Let me tell you about one of my favorite ministries to help. It's called the Boys Home of Virginia. It is a home for at-risk youth and young men in southwestern Virginia. I've gone there nearly every summer now for eight or nine years, and they take young men, young boys really, as young as seven or eight, and they help them to grow up to be fine men. They introduce them to Jesus and to following him, and they give them the tools and skills necessary to be successful in the world. We go on a mission trip there in the summers, Connect with us on the website if you would be interested in going with us to the boys' home. We also sponsor a cottage there every year, and that sponsorship provides for the necessities for the boys in that college and some of their wants as well. This Lent, between now and Easter, all the money donated to the, donated to the discretionary fund at my congregation is going to go to benefit and bless the boys' home of Virginia. There is a link to give down in the description. Please be generous. Give to support the ministry, but also be sure to give and support the boys' home. Jesus is counting on us. Discipline, my friends. Discipline is the word for the next 40 days. Discipline and discipleship, because discipline is how you become a disciple, and discipleship is how you can become a saint. I look forward to connecting with you soon, and God willing, we'll see each other in heaven. Amen.